Hare Krishna, Gohuranga. Welcome to another Casey on the Go with CD. I'm still going with the uh, the thoughts from the CC, and I was just thinking actually that could probably be in a class in itself. You know, read the CC, read the CC, read the CC. Srila Prabhupada actually, there's a famous story how Srila Prabhupada had, um, you know, he told the devotees that I'm producing more volumes quicker than you guys. You know, so how come the CC is not ready yet? And they were saying, oh, you know, Prabhupada, by the time we do the drawings and this thing, that thing. Prabhupada said, I have all the manuscripts ready. I want the books out. I think it was like something like a month or something, you know. So there was the famous marathon to produce the Chaitanya Chattamrita. So that much stress should the Prabhupada put on this book. But that isn't what my today's topic is. Um, uh, this one was a, a shloka that I pulled that was quoted, actually, um, in the Chaitanya Chattamrita. And uh, by this is this comes in the in the past times of um, Ramananda Rai when he's when he's discussing with Lord Chaitanya, and this comes from the Shrimad Bhagavatam ten thirty three thirty nine. So this is one of the shlokas that they quoted. Vikriditam vrajavadubir idam chavishnu shadan vito nrishnu yad atavana yad yaha bhaktim param bhagavati patilabya kamam vridrogam ashvapihanutya charena diraha. Anyone who faithfully hears or describes the Lord's playful affairs with the young gopis of Vrindavan will attain the Lord's pure devotional service. Thus he will quickly become sober and conquer lust, the disease of the heart. So we know from our studies and reading of the Bhagavad Gita, what does Krishna say to Arjuna is the most difficult, yeah, the most powerful enemy of the living entity. He says, Sri Bhagavanu Vacha, Kama Esha, Krota Esha, Raja Guna Samud Bhavaha, Mahasana Mahapapma Vidinam Iha Vairinam. He says, It is lust only, Arjuna, which is born of contact with the material mode of passion and later transformed into wrath, and is the all devouring sinful enemy of this world. All devouring. Can you imagine that Krishna is using really strong words here? He's not saying, Oh, you know, lust is a bit dangerous, Arjuna. Lust is like a, you know, watch out for that one. You know, it's a pitfall, Arjuna. He's saying it is the absolute, complete enemy. It is it is the most dangerous thing, if not controlled carefully um, or removed completely by the strong process of Krishna consciousness. So here, a solution has been given in the Srimad Bhagavatam um, in the form of... Uh, a little bit of a falastuti as well here that anyone who's hearing these pastimes of Krishna, you know, Krishna Lila, uh, especially his uh, Rasa Lila and so on and so forth, um, can actually cleanse the heart, which includes not just the dust, but also the deeper layers of this lust that's formed over the years and years and years in this um, birth and birth and birth, should I say, in this material world. Um, and it takes something powerful, yeah. Just as we say, Vishayavani Vartanti, Nira Harasya Dehana, Raso Varjam Raso Prasha, Param Drishvani Vartanti. You know, it, it takes a, a higher taste to achieve, um, you know, this perfection in cleansing the heart. It takes a higher taste to achieve the letting go of the lower nature. Because the passion can be moved into the mode of goodness. But because the mode of goodness is still a material mode, you can drop again. And this is what we see. One, one minute we're in the, the mode of goodness, we're, we're thinking some spiritual thoughts, we're getting a little bit of an idea. And then again we can get angry again, we can, get, we can become um, strongly desiring for some material sense gratification. If we don't get it, we know what happens next. It drops down into, um, into the anger and the wrath and the, the hankering and lamenting mentality, you know. Um, and then again, we're revolving around, revolving around. But this idea of, you know, hearing Krishna's pastimes on a daily basis, this is the key thing. It's not just once. It's not just, oh, read, read the Rasa Leela chapters or read the, the Shumad Bhagavatam once or twice. It's, you know, daily recital, daily hearing. Um, there's one nice um, class, it's just, it's actually, I think it just came out just before the start of the year. Uh, by His Holiness Keshav Swami, and he had talked about his five things that he does on a daily basis, you know. And uh, yes, one of them was, um, 
you know, reciting shlokas, and he says going deeper and deeper into the shlokas, and then, you know, another one was discussion. Um, so these are the kind of things that can open it up. We can discuss about Krishna's pastimes with other devotees. We can read and hear. We can recite the shlokas. And then these things will deepen, deepen it into the heart. You know, it'll embed it into the heart um, in a way that it can't just be shaken off. So this is this is one thing. I mean, Srila Prabhupada stresses this. He says, Krishna book before bed. And I, I've spoken about this myself, but of course, we can repeat it again and again, just as Srila Prabhupada said it many times. My own Guru Maharaj, Jaranandha Goswami, he also, he quotes it, you know, again and again and again in all his classes, this idea, read Krishna book before bed. You know, and in that way, you'll purify the heart, you'll give yourself amazing dreams, you'll give yourself amazing thoughts, you'll wake up with a bounce in your step, you know, because you have already set the, the, the foundation for the next day, you know, the next day's chanting, the next day's hearing, the next day's remembering, the next day's endeavouring, um, you know, in a better standing, in a better place when you wake up, you know, because everybody gets, um, we all get shook up when we go to bed, and we're thinking, oh God, you know, here we go again. But uh, it's like it's like the, the the whole thing starts all over again. The fight against the mind, the fight against the drowsy senses. <laughs> you know, oh my God, I'm hungry. Oh my God, my body needs to 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 pass different elements. Oh, I, I need to do this. Oh, I can't. You know, I've got to get to work in an hour or this thing. You know, no, no, forget about that. Just you know, get up, and the first thing is the japa. You know, the put the puja, whatever it is, the wake the dairies you know, pray, you know, get yourself into the good headspace. And then the other things will come easily. They'll come anyway. They're going to happen anyway. You have to work. You have to eat breakfast. You know, I mean, well, before that shower, pass waste, these things, brush your teeth, whatever. But all these things are all going to come. But what needs to come, what you can't miss out or what you cannot minimize is the chanting of Hare Krishna, the study of Shastra, and, uh, you know, the, the, the soul maintenance, you know, the spiritual maintenance. So this is a little bit of a... Um, uh, you know, a helpful, not a little bit, it's a massively helpful shloka as a reminder that the way to conquer quickly becomes sober. So to clean up your act, you know, to refresh, restart the, 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 the spiritual self and uh, conquer lust. Not dismiss it, not put it to the side, not trick it out, you know, for a few days, but actually conquer the disease of the heart. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai, Iskong Ramandi Ki Jai, Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Bo.